Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So recently I've been showcasing quite a few mods for the game Squad and one of the questions I've been asked recently as well is how exactly do you install the mods for Squad? Well, thankfully it's quite an idiot proof process and I thought, well, I'm a bit of an idiot. Let me show you how it's done because if I can do it, anybody can. So first things first, here we are in Steam and what we do is once we've selected the game, we go over to the workshop. So click on that, okay, because this is where we're going to look for the mods. Now, Compared to other games, this isn't particularly well fleshed out. Normally you can do a search by tag and there's all sorts of like different ways, well, different sort of, um, well, tags to search on, like complete overhauls and whatnot in other games. But this one is a little bit bare bones and basic. So usually you're going to just, you're going to be browsing quite a bit. But luckily enough, let's just say, I want to show you by most popular. This is quite good. So I've been showcasing a bit of death and duty and a bit of galactic contention. So like, for example, we want to we want to get Death and Duty, which is the uh, the Warhammer 40k mod. All you got to do is click on it. Here it is, and then you just click on subscribe, and it will automatically stout st stout. It will automatically start downloading for you. Okay. Um, now, what I wanted to see if I could show you something else is if there were any dependencies, but it doesn't seem to be any here. Let's just go back over here and let's go to Galactic Contention, which is the Star Wars mod. Okay. Right. Okay. Here we go. So, say you wanted to grab Star Wars, I'd already grabbed it, you just click on, on the green button. But if there are any other kind of sub-mods that were like dependencies for the main mod here, they would be here now. You see, this game requires this DLC to be installed. Which is lucky because the Canadian Armed Forces DLC is actually free. But, if there was another mod that was needed, it would be listed here as well. And um, there you go, and you get all sorts of info, and uh, oh, I don't want to boast, but... Here's my other, my Galactic Contention video that I created. But no, enough of that. I'm not here to blow my own trumpet. I'm here to provide you with some good information. So, once you've clicked on it, it'll start downloading. And hopefully, maybe I did a download before. And that's what you would see here in downloads. You see, I've downloaded some stuff from the Squad Workshop. And that's what it would look like. You see, it's a Steam Workshop for Squad. Okay, so as you can see, I love a good mod. Because that's all I seem to be downloading lately. But anyway... Now, once it's downloaded, we can now jump into the game. So we'll do that straight away because I'll show you what you need to do next. So we'll just go back and we will launch. Okay, now we're in game. What do we do if we want to jump into a custom server running mods? Well, what we do, quite simple, come to custom browser. Click on that. Okay. And you'll notice you're not really seeing anything here. So what you need to do is go on to show filters. And then select show modded filters. We'll just get rid of this. Okay. Just wait a second, wait for it to refresh. And here you see servers that run mods. You can tell because they've got that little kind of icon with a wrench. So here we are. There's a galactic contention um, server up and running. We'll just select this. And this is what I just want to show you the other way that you can possibly install a game. Now, I don't ever use this because it doesn't actually ever work for me, but in theory, if you jump onto a modded server and you don't actually have the mod, it has this and it uses this as a little kind of icon here, I guess, as a shortcut. And you can click on that and it will start to sort of download the mod for you, but I never use it because it never really works for me. Um, it either just doesn't run and I need to restart the game anyway. So I find that the, the kind of, the way that does work for me is the way I showed you. I Download first via the Steam Workshop, and then you can come here and just join the server, and that's all you need to do. Just We've got it here, and then we'll just go join, and boom. That's all there is to it. So, I hope you found that useful. I will catch you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you, like I said, next time. But until then, my friends, this is Hipkel, signing off.